Hey guys, welcome back to another week's episode. Uh, we're back in the kitchen here. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I made what was called a savory strata. This week, we're going to make a sweet strata, or otherwise known as a French bread casserole. Um, I already have the pan out. We'll go ahead and get everything ready and prepped, and uh, we'll run you through it. We'll see you in just a few moments. Okay, so to start off, you're going to need eight eggs, a uh, pint of heavy whipping cream, about a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a half cup of sugar, <clears throat> and a whole loaf of Italian bread. What you need to do is cut them into about one inch piece, and then I will break it up and put it in the pan here uh, you can use baguette if you want to keeping bread normal white bread it'll usually take a whole loaf to do uh, texas bread anyway you just break it up you fill up a casserole pan try to uh, pack it in as much as you can and then you like the savory uh, strata that I made a couple of weeks ago. You want to um, go ahead and make your custard and let it sit overnight in the fridge. Uh, you pour it in with the bread and you let it sit overnight. The longer it sits, the better it tastes. Um, four hours up to probably 10, 12 hours, depending. So... We'll go ahead and uh, break all the eggs into the bowl. First off, you want to take the heavy whipping cream. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. Go ahead and take your sugar. Pour it in the bowl here. Take your heavy whipping cream. Sorry, it'll take me a moment to get this thing open. I should have prepped it before. All right, so pour the whole pint in. That's that. You take your whisk. You want to go ahead and blend the sugar in with the heavy whipping cream. At least till it uh, very well blends or uh, kind of melts into the, uh, or dissolves into the uh, whipping cream. Now you want to go ahead and add your uh, vanilla extract. And be careful not to add too much. There we go. And you give it a good mix. sit for a moment all right so off camera i'm gonna go ahead and break all eight eggs into the uh custard and i'll be right back all right so all eight eggs have been cracked into the uh custard you want to go ahead and blend it in make sure you break all the yolks apart get it nice and blended in there you want to keep it kind of smooth Break all your yolks in there, of course.
Now the sugar isn't fully dissolved. You kind of feel the grittiness in there, but that's okay. As long as the sugar is pretty well mixed into the custard, you're good. Uh, so when you get done with this, you're going to want to pour it over the uh, bread and fully cover the bread. And like I said, overnight, it'll soak up the uh, custard. And again, the longer it sets, the better it'll taste. All right, so go ahead and pull this over. I'm going to go ahead and get it all in there. Something I did forget to add was the uh, maple syrup. You can use fake maple syrup if you want to, uh, cost effective. Uh, we have a few shells down there. I do apologize, but it doesn't look like they actually got into the uh, batter as much. Alright, so take a spoon. I'm going to go ahead and get that custard all over all the uh, bread. You'll go ahead and push your bread down in the custard, stir it around a little bit. Uh, it will puff back up once it soaks in all the uh, custard here. If you do want to add maple syrup, I suggest that uh, you put about a quarter of a cup in there instead of the sugar or uh, put a quarter cup of sugar with the uh, maple syrup. All right. So that's that for now. Tomorrow morning when I pull this out to cook it, I will make up a uh, sugar and cinnamon mix and sprinkle it across the top. That will crystallize while cooking or caramelize, should I say, and uh, create a nice uh, crust on top there. So we'll go ahead and put this in the fridge, let it sit, and uh, we'll be back in the morning. Alright guys, so it's morning time. Uh, the strata has sat in the fridge for at least 12 hours. Uh, we'll start off with a half cup of sugar and a teaspoon and a half of uh, cinnamon. Go ahead and mix that up. Get nice and well blended. Make sure you crack up the cinnamon. Don't leave any lumps there because definitely uh, cinnamon without the sugar does not taste good. You also want to preheat your oven to 350. And let's go ahead and finish that up. So you have this here and also you have syrup. Like I said, you can use the fake stuff. You can use the expensive stuff if you want. You want to drizzle it across as much as possible. Okay. 
and try to get on the edges as much as possible. There we go. And then we'll take this and dust the top with it. Literally in the end there, when you uh, get done baking this, you'll want to take it and put about two or three minutes on broil to caramelize and crisp up the top. There we go. So this definitely smells good. Uh, when we get done uh, preheating, I'll be right back. All right, so the oven is up to temperature. We'll go ahead and put it in. Put it on the top shelf in the center and let it sit for 40 minutes. I would set a timer for 35 and go ahead and check on it and uh, give the last couple minutes on broil to caramelize the top. So we'll be right back. All right. So I unfortunately got distracted and left it in for 30 seconds too long under broil. So it kind of crisped the top a little bit there, but it's still edible. Uh, we'll have to just pick out the char pieces. But uh, we'll go ahead and uh, let this set for a few moments. And then uh, we'll go ahead and serve it up. So... Thanks for watching. Uh, please let me know if you try to make this, how it turns out for you. And until next time, have a great weekend, a great week. Enjoy.